All right, this one's for you. Uh, now you, my, so there's some bug going on where my cursor is like displaced on my videos. Uh, I'll have to get to the bottom of that later, but right now I'm not worried about it. Uh, so I'm gonna start off with another character. I'm gonna do this fresh. I'm gonna do this all over again, uh, just to uh, show you one more time. I'm gonna try to make this one a little bit faster so it's shorter. Uh, I'm just gonna throw some hair on there. Only takes a second, so. We're gonna go to codes. This is a CC3 plus. Uh, pants. You know what? I'm just not even gonna uh, give her any pants. I'm just gonna leave her like this. Uh, it's only the coat that's doing it. So let's just export it with the coat. See if it still does it with only the coat um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send this to iClone I'm not gonna give her the boots either this time we're waiting on iClone to load up while that's doing that I'm going to go to export I'm gonna export this uh, for Unreal I'm not going to change anything right here. I am going to change this because I'm going to add these. I'm going to do the standing. Uh, oh, now I'm going to do the greet and the run. Those are the two that it shows up the most on. So, yeah. Let's see. I'm going to replace this one with it. Over here in iClone, I'm going to show you the animation, and you'll see there's cloth physics on here. Inside of here, there's cloth physics. So, this is what I was talking about is when I uh, was talking about iClone. So, let's go down here to this. And you'll see, I'll loop it, do it by frame. See, the cloth physics? There is cloth physics inside of here. Now when I export it, uh, I'll need to export it from here as an FBX. I don't have uh, the uh, export license. I have a trial of it right now because I'm waiting for the next version to come out. Uh, because it's going to have it included with the program, so I won't have to buy it, and it's kind of expensive to buy 3D Exchange, so I'm not going to buy it. I'm going to wait until the next one comes out. I'm going to go to All, Export, and I'm going to export this one right here. That way I can load it up inside of Blender. Now I've showed you that it doesn't do it in with these animations uh, inside of here. But uh, I'll go ahead and show it to you with the other uh, animation as well as soon as this one loads. I'm going to go ahead and load this one up over here while it's exporting. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to. Is it done? It's done. I'm going to go ahead and load that up. Now while that's loading up, I'm going to uh, delete this animation, go back to the first frame. I'm going to go to... This one right here, this is another one it does it on. It's like this, clip it, start it over, play it. Now this is where where it's getting hung at. Right here, uh, somewhere back here, it's uh, connecting to her shirt inside of Unreal. Now right here you'll see it doesn't do that. So we're going to come back over here to character or to here and I'm going to go back over here I'm going to load this up press ok here in a second it'll pop up with some things right now I'm going to go ahead and show you this inside of here I'm going to well, I was going to play the animation. I don't know why it keeps doing this. This iClone export stuff doesn't seem to work 90% of the time. That's why I don't export it from iClone. Uh, 
but if I export it from a uh, character creator without the uh, and I do it or when I export it for from here I have to if I do it for uh, blender you'll see I'm just gonna replace this one and we'll see now I'm gonna try Start over. Back over here. Now this uh, over here in Unreal, these are my settings. The only three things that I change are these right here. Use T0 as ref pose. Preserve smoothing group. Import mesh and bone hierarchy. I'm going to import all. Now we're going to come back over here. I'm not too worried about that bleeding right now. You can see there's no, uh, it's not doing it in here like it does, like it's going to do it in uh, Unreal. See, nothing's sticking, nothing's pulling. So now I'm going to slate the bone. I'm going to go into pose mode. I'm going to go into x-ray mode so I can see better. See? The only thing that seems to be attached to this is part of her hair. Uh, which isn't an issue. I'm not really worried about that right now. Uh, so, oh, wrong bone there. Still the wrong bone. There we go. See, nothing's pulling. Oops. They got a twist bone there, so it, it it's always wants to select the twist bone, not the other one. It's not doing it on that side. This is still importing. I'll go ahead and uh, undo all this. Now I will come out of x-ray mode. I will come out of pose mode. I will select the jacket. Let's see how far along it is over here. Okay, it's done. Uh, I'm going to import the animations now. I'm going to use uh, default sample rate. I'm going to choose this character's skeleton. That's the only thing I change. Now, you see, I didn't create a, uh, a character blueprint. I'm just playing the animations for this right here in Simulate. And there it is. And it does it on this side too. A little bit. It's hard to see, but the tail of it is, uh, is pulling on it as well. Now I haven't adjusted anything. No physics uh, assets have been adjusted yet. I'll go ahead and uh, show you the physics asset now. Everything's default. Let me turn this camera down. Let 
uh, the physics asset. This is the default physics asset. This is the same exact physics asset that it's using inside of here. And I'll, uh, I'll show that to you. Collision shape. So if I select something, you see, inside of here, inside of here, these, these are the, the, the physics asset that it uses in here to simulate physics without any issues is the same physics asset that it imports it with inside of Unreal. So I'll, uh, let's see. You said something about cloth uh, collision. Let's see. Change the distance of the cloth to something like two centimeters. I'm not exactly sure uh, what you mean. I don't know if you were talking about the physics asset or the actual cloth settings. I'm going to assume that you're uh, talking about the actual cloth settings. So we're going to come down here. And maybe you're talking about the self-collision. I've tried adjusting these. Uh, so I can turn it up to 2. And you can come over here into clothing and self-collision radii. Uh, well, it should be showing it. Yeah, there it goes. So that, that's the self-collision uh, radii right there. That's, uh, I would think that's about ideal. I can, uh, and I turned it up. I think it was set to zero. Yeah, it was set to zero. Now it's set to one. Uh, so, and I, I've, I've went through all of this. I've, I went through every single one of those settings inside there for the cloth. And, and I tried this on all of them, and I tried setting it to an extreme, an extreme high, an extreme low, uh, nothing seems to help. So we could set it, we could even set it to five, which is way too large. None of those settings help at all. The only setting that helps is tethering. I can set this to 20 and it somewhat helps if I remember right and I don't know why I just saved that let's see now I'm not super familiar with this but let's see alright let's see uh, do I have to go into I don't remember what I had to go into for this to view the uh, thing. I just did it yesterday, too. I've only done it once, though, so. That's not the jacket, for one. That's part of the problem. Let's go back over into Unreal. Okay, so I turned tethering up. You'll see it goes up to about her her chest. It's hard to tell. But yeah, it goes right above her chest. I'll continue turning it up. Let's see. Let's stop this first. Let's turn it up to 50. Just to make sure that it's not like updating to make sure it's not not updating yeah
Did I just figure it out? Are you kidding me? I don't think I ever tried turning tether the tether limit up that high. Okay, I guess I just figured it out. <laughs> Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. Oh my god. That's crazy. All right. Well, that's uh, a bit embarrassing. I spent all that time messing around with it, and I never thought to turn to try turning the tether limit up high. How far they can separate? Oh, that's weird. Okay, holy crap. Okay.